been uh, nearly two years once we returned to the SSE Hydro on May the 28th that we last had a show in Scotland and whilst for most of us, apart from this top table, our bellies get a little bit bigger and our hair gets a bit thinner, but the heart still beats as fast as ever for this wonderful sport. We've been looking for an excuse to come back for a long time and now we've got it. Ricky Burns against Michelle DeRocco for the WBA Super Lightweight Championship of the World. An opportunity for Ricky Burns to make history as a three-weight world champion. It's a wonderful opportunity and uh, we are so excited to return to this wonderful arena just across the way on May the 28th. One thing that's also changed is the development of Scottish talent coming through. Um, a couple of young gentlemen on this table who we're delighted to have with us, of course. Who can forget Charlie Flynn's wonderful heroics at the Commonwealth Games at that very arena when he captured gold. And uh, he can't wait to get back there. He's had a great development so far. And Joe Hamm as well, who's on a plane to LA now to undertake his camp after another successful outing at the weekend. We need young talent to be coming through. And I believe now we have that moment in Scotland for these young fighters on the bill to move into title contention. Someone who has been around a little bit longer, and he won't mind me saying it, is Willie Limon, who put up a great performance to win the British Light World to Weight title against Curtis Woodhouse last time we were here. We looked for that big fight. Ironically, one of them was against Michelle DeRocco at the time, and now he wants his British title back. He has a very, very tough fight against the champion, <coughs> Tyrone Nurse, who had two great fights with Chris Jenkins, Two close fights, I felt like I actually won them both. He finally got the decision in the last one. And that's a really tough fight for Willie Lyman, but as we know, he's a huge draw here in Glasgow, and he can't wait to get in there as well. For the main event, again, Ricky Burns against Michelle DeRocco. It's a breathtaking match. Michelle DeRocco undefeated in eight years as a professional. Ricky Burns, who has moved two weight world champion, moved up, had a great fight with Omar Figueroa at I want to say light well to wait, but eventually quite a bit heavier than that. Moves up in weight, as I said, in a bid to make history to become a three-weight world champion. Firstly, I'm going to ask on uh, Charlie Flynn to say a few words, Charlie. That's been a development. I know you boxed on Saturday night as well, but <coughs> really your first big show in Scotland and buzzing to get in there. I can't wait to get in. Back in the Hydro where I won my gold. Um, I can't, can't believe I'm back here so soon, you know what I mean? Such a big stadium. For Sky TV, it's absolutely massive, and uh, we're hoping to get a title shot in there as well. So, definitely looking forward to a massive night in boxing. You know, Ricky Burns is bringing back the main card. We've got Will Almond as well. Massive, massive fights. Personal friends doing massive things. So I can't wait to get in the ring. Obviously, you've got a huge fan base here in Scotland, and like I said, back to the arena where you won gold after a successful fight on Saturday. Now, hopefully, looking for for a Celtic title and start moving forward into those title fights in 2016. Aye, that's it. We've got a big fan base now, and uh, coming off the back of that, when everybody's itching to get back in, back fill the seats, back to see the fights, everybody's itching to get back into the fight zone again, and I can't wait, and uh, couldn't come quick enough. I'm, I'm already fit, so just a matter of tweeting bits here and there, building up, and uh, getting ready for it on the night. But the fans are there, everything's snowballing, and it's all coming to a climax. So we'll We'll forget that Celtic title. Willie, it's uh, great to have you back. Obviously, uh, it's the first for everybody at the Hydro. First yep. for matchroom, first for boxing, professional boxing at the Hydro. Mm -hmm. Expecting a huge crowd. We know you're a big ticket seller yourself and, and a big opportunity for you in a must win fight against Tyrone Nurse. Yeah, it's a massive fight. Yeah, I've watched Sassett and Bronzy concert on the Hydro and I went, what, what a show to be having here. So, ah, it's good. I'm glad to be, to be part of this huge occasion. Obviously, Ricky wants a key time for to be a three-time world champion, a tough fight against Iroko. Myself, a very hard fight against Tyler Nurse, I think he's one of the most underrated fighters in the last few years, but I, I, I think I can pull it off. I think it'll be a great night for the fans. We've got Charlie, who's calling. We've got a lot of good boys coming through in Scotland, and I think this could be the platform that they need to ensure we can go to the next level. So we're looking, looking forward to it. Obviously a 50-50 fight with you and Tyrone, but being the same way, I know that you'll both be interested spectators for the main event as well. Well, Bill, it's obviously it's like the other way, and me and Tyrone's the same, so I'll deal with this fight first. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how Tyrone thinks, but I'll do my fight first. Obviously, Ricky, 
Hindi ko imame. Is is sa gitna pa ako. Ito kay Jane. Ano ni? Is it for fate? Well, you see what happens. Tara, obviously a disappointing view not to get the victory in the first champions fight. Felt like you deserved that win. But got the business done in the second fight. And now up here, I think it's exciting for you. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of noise. The atmosphere up here is, is second to none. But I know you're excited about this fight. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely excited about it. I mean, I spent a lot of time up here. <laughs> sparring fighting for a week or so. I've been to plenty of these fights and, you know, squash club. Do, do a job of boxing, do get behind it, you know. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, it's, you know, it's a great fight to see the fighters fall, so I can do all the job things in the day, so he can have his credentials and who he's been in, what he's achieved and etc. But no, I believe I'm the best tennis in the country, so without a doubt I'm taking the belt on up to this field and that. How important is it for you to move on? You've been bubbling around the scene, everyone's been talking about you as, you know, like I said, a great 140 pound fighter. But the confidence of, you know, those two Jenkins fights, obviously you've boxed on huge occasions now a number of times. I feel like it's really time to keep on that. Yeah, that's it. I mean, things in, things in my life have changed a little bit on that. So, you know, life's not just about me enjoying boxing. You know, it's about, you know, setting up a life for her. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to making movements and uh, showing the world what I can do. I'd like to uh, bring in Team Morocco. Firstly, uh, Christine Kirchi, who, you know, we have a very close relationship. We've made a number of fights now. And this fight was uh, moved at pace, obviously, uh, Michel Rocco waiting for Benavides for, for some time. He was in line to fight for the world title and, and delighted to make the deal uh, with yourself for, for De Rocco against Burns. And excited about the fight. You know, I know that you've, you've seen boxing all around Britain and you know what the occasion and atmosphere will be like and uh, it's going to be a great night. Yes. Good afternoon. First of all, I want to thank uh, the WBA for giving the opportunity to Michele Enrique. Of course, uh, Eddie, my school, Sky Sports, and uh, everybody involved with the promotion. Uh, the fight uh, is, I think, is a generally 50-50 fight. The Rock, for the Rock, will be the first uh, chance to, to fight for the world title. Ricky will look into to be a three times uh, three weight world champion. The atmosphere uh, would be great. You know, in Scotland, I've been before um, one of the Ricky fight. I heard that they, there is also an Italian community here, uh, and uh, I hope some Italian will come to support them as well. Thank you, and uh, to, to ask uh, Michele some questions now. Obviously, uh, he's been unbeaten for a, a long time, I believe eight years, and a huge opportunity on May the 28th for him to become world champion. Sono molto soddisfatto di poter fare questo incontro contro Ricky Martin in Scozia, a Glasgow. È un anno circa che aspetto questa opportunità e per me sarà un onore e una soddisfazione poter vincere qui a casa del mio ciudadano. Grazie, è una per questa opportunità. Uh, un anno è aspettando per questa uh, chance di fare per il World Title. And, uh, it's a, an honor for him to fight in Scotland and it would be a, a great win over here. I'll ask him what kind of fight does he expect on the night from Ricky Burns. Obviously I'm sure he watched Ricky Burns in the past, the atmosphere will be electric. How does he see the fight playing out? Ho visto alcuni video su internet, YouTube, YouTube. è un grande boxer, eh, già due volte campione del mondo, eh, però la, la mia tattica, la mia tecnica che userò è quella di venire qua convinto di vincere il match. Mi sto allenando da molto tempo e penso di, di non avere problemi emotivi di fronte al suo pubblico e di dare un grandissimo spettacolo. He saw some of Ricky fights, you know, uh, Ricky fights on YouTube. He's a, he's a great warrior, but he's not afraid to come here. And he knows it would, it would be a great, a great atmosphere, but he's not afraid, and uh, he will show, he will show 
this technique, this uh, winning, win this, this title, and we put a, a great fight for everybody. Thank you, Christy, and thank you, of course, to, to your entire company and, and to your father and Alexander as well. Thank you for being here today. Ricky Burns, I haven't seen a smile on your face like this for some time. It's, uh, it's a great opportunity for you. It's going to be a great occasion. The Hydro is somewhere that we looked at for you know, the back end of your, your boxing up in Scotland. And now May the 28th, back in Scotland, and a chance to become a three-way champion of the world. Before we, obviously, we grabbed this fight and obviously we beat, um, there was so many options out there for big fights, but when he's mentioned, obviously, coming back to the possibility, coming back to Glasgow, um, especially the high draw, I've been in it for a couple of um, concerts, um, I can't wait to walk out in front of me, obviously, in front of all the fans up here. It's always a great day, and the response to the that's been announced has been unbelievable. Um, so we're expecting a good night, but we're expecting a hard, a hard night's work as well. Um, me and Tony have already started obviously watching the tapes, um, so we've already been working and setting out the game plan already, which is what we think is going to happen, but we just can't wait to get in there now, 10 weeks and down. Obviously you've, you've always been in the deep end you know, through, through your career, um, the Beltran injury of course everybody knows about, and then you fought a young man called Terence Crawford as your mandatory, which at the time we knew he was talented, but you know perhaps has gone on to be pound for pound already one of the best fighters in the world. You know even Dejan Zlatikhani, relatively unknown when you fought him, now looks like he's going to end up being WBC lightweight champion of the world. And Omar Figueroa, who you know like I said probably came into the ring about 160 pounds. You've always been in the deep end, and again you know looking at opportunities at lightweight, but to become a world champion at light world weight was just too big an opportunity to turn that. 100%. Um, you see, the, the next phase being announced, as they said, um, you can't get the smile off my face, especially if you're looking back at the last goal. I know um, he's had spoken about it, but he's, it would have to be for the right fight, um, because obviously he's always had the high draw, um, that was the main way he's always wanted to go, so now we've got this opportunity. But to win, I can't put it anywhere, obviously, but what it would mean. Um, so the next, like I said, the next 10 weeks for me, I'm going to put myself myself through hell, um, but I know that I'm going to come out on top of the Obviously, we know that you love to fight, and tactics sometimes go out the window, and like I said, the atmosphere will be, will be crazy on the night, but you obviously watch the Rocco as well, and I know Tony's big on watching fighters as well. Same question to you, how do you see the fight playing out? You like to stand in the fight also, and do you think it's going to be a war of attrition on the night? Um, well, no matter what fight I've ever been in me, um, although, I, although I can box, um, I do get carried away sometimes, and if, if somebody wants to get involved in a fight, then I'm, I'm more than happy to oblige. So, um, I know, like I said, well, we have been watching um, a, few, a few of these last fights, um, so we were, things are working on, I don't really want to go into it just now, but if it does come down to it, obviously, totally, totally, totally going for it, and I think everybody knows I'm more than happy to do it. So no, we, we know no, it's no. going to be a hard fight, but I'm more than happy to go for it. We know that for sure. This is going to be a special night. Uh, at the Hydro Arena, of course, these young men on the table here as well. Um, there's going to be some interesting additions to the card as well. A um, uh, uh, young heavyweight who we're talking to at the moment uh, by the name of Shannon Briggs, hoping to bring up here as well. Uh, Ryan Burnett, who is our young star from Belfast at the moment, making way to the bantamweight division, will also be in tight of action here. A number of other Scottish fighters and matchroom fighters as well over the next week or so to be announced for the card. Tickets have gone on sale about half an hour ago, and we look forward to everybody in Scotland getting behind this show, getting behind, I believe, one of the best Scottish fighters of all time in Ricky Burns, Willie Lemon in his title fight, and a new crop of youngsters coming through. Of course, Commonwealth Games gold medalist Charlie Finn um, leading the way in that respect. This fight is for the WBA Light World Weight Championship of the World, and the winner will be mandated to fight the winner of Adrian Broner against Ashley Fearplane on April 1st, which ironically was a fight that Broman fight was one that slipped away 
um, during your lightweight days, but certainly looking for the victory against the Rocco and then move on to the Adrian Broner fight towards the end of summer. But business, firstly, Burns v. The Rocco for the WBA Night World Weight Championship of the World. We thank you all for your support and we are delighted to be back in Glasgow and we can't wait for that place next door to be rocking. Thank you for coming and we'll see you very soon. We're going to have a group photo and then head-to-head -head photos between Limond and Nurse and Burns and the Rock up here. Thank you very much.